How's it going guys? Kava here. Today I wanted to go over how to quickly do all of your quests to unlock your wildwood um, ascendancy trees. For this what you want to do is you want to go into desecrated chamber in act 10 and you're basically just going to run through as quickly as you can depending on whatever your quest is. You're going to do those for this one right now for the uh, Primal Huntress. I have this one where I need to kill um, 500 of these things here. Something to keep in mind if you are going to end up swapping over to um, the next person. If you are doing the kill quest it is going to reset your progress so you do want to make sure that you aren't swapping over. Um, while you are in the middle of one of these kill quests you got to make sure you finish these first before uh, it's going to let you get into the quests that will hold even if you don't have them selected. So do keep that in mind uh, so you don't accidentally lose progress on um, some kill quests here. Uh, as you did, uh, if you might have saw before, I actually did manage to lose um, some kill credit on this that I had built up because I ended up swapping over um, off of Huntress into something else. For this one I just had this um, Hunt for the Crow, which was the one that we just did here, killing this boss for the Warlock. Um, and then basically you're just spamming maps or spamming um, instances with uh, Desecrated Chamber there. Every single time as soon as you actually get yourself out. So this is the Breaker of Oaths. If I actually choose him, he'll actually let me progress this quest. So I'm going to choose his thing even though um, right now, so this right now, when I talk to him, it's going to complete the quest now and move me to the next step as well. Um, so we can do the uh, next quest now in his line here. So let's see what he wants. So he wants me to slay cultists now as well. So his quest is to slay cultists. The quest for the... Um, uh, Primalist is to slay the Nameless, and there's another quest for the um, other creatures as well, for the uh, Warden um, that you end up completing. And then the Warden's last quest ended up pushing me to this one right here, Search for the King of the Mists. So once you've completed your tree, again, you just go back over to the waypoint, you control click on it, and you go over to uh, New, and you select a new instance, and it'll always be right here at the entrance. Some of the other uh, cool things that I have found for um, the Ascendancy Trees with my actual playing around with them is there are some really, really powerful things on the Tinctures as we kind of knew about before. Um, some of the ones for Bone Shatter right here, we have the, um, the Headhunter effect to give us an extra chance to grant a Headhunter buff for 60 seconds really really long time buff um compared to a headhunter then we have uh melee strikes deal splash damage to surrounding targets um this can be really good uh some of the other things here is you can get increased strike range as well as um you can crush enemies on hit that are for enemies that are on full life um some of the other ones again i picked up a few of these splash damage ones for moving towards realistically what is going to end up being the end game on probably most everyone's characters is going to be using the primal huntress tree um, for the primalist tree and using these charms right so these are some charms that i've already picked up these were not these are very very cheap i spent one to five chaos on each one of these and this one right here war cries grant five rage per five power if you have less than 25 rage um, this is going to be really big because this just means really, really high uptime on Berserk, right? So once I have all three of these slotted, I will pretty much be able to instantly spike myself above 25 Rage in order to instantly basically pop a Berserk again as soon as it falls off. Um, so this is going to give me near permanent uptime. And as you can see here, I'm getting very big reduced duration of Ignite as well. Um, or in this case is the 1% maximum fire res. So inevitably what I will end up doing is basically pushing this in order to get more and more of these that have this five rage per um, five power and then um, pushing this um, along with again either maximum fire res or 
some other benefit um, depending on what it is. So um, yeah, that's some of the stuff we're looking forward to so far. So because I am trying to work on the Primal List right now, um, I, as soon as I do find the Primal List, I am going to want to move back to them so that I have their quest for um, searching for the Nameless Mobs instead of the Cultists. But, um, you know, let's actually see if we can find some Nameless and find out. Because we did have some, so... But as you can see here in the League Mechanic, it's pretty much very reminiscent to me of like a Delve... Um, where you're getting all kinds of uh, variety of rooms. Some of them just have these rooms where they have some like uh, trophy or uh, chests in them, things like that. Um, other ones will have um, different bosses in them. You'll find some shrines, some strong boxes, things like that down in here. There's a lot of different things. Um, you know, I, I really like the variety of what I've found so far. I've even seen some other things. There's some special merchants, things like that, that you can run into. I haven't personally ran into the merchant yet myself, but there's a merchant that will sell you um, unique items, things like that. So there's a lot of really cool things that are going to be hidden down in this. And, uh, you know, I really look forward to uh, finding more of them. And for me, whenever I do end up finding some of those, I'll be more than happy to um, share them with you guys. And other than that, I'm going to continue to push the league mechanic as much as I can while continuing to progress the character. Um, yeah. So really looking forward to it, really having a good time with the League. I've definitely gotten myself killed a few times now with uh, the Golden Rule, just because of some nuances with how the skill works, especially in regards to Labyrinth. This Golden Rule gem here, um, the poisons you inflict back to you, typically there should be no circumstance in which you could have a poison that you self-created, as well as having a... Um, as well as not having any leech effects going but the totems uh, or the little pillar things in lab that either cast hit you with temporal chains or that green effect that damages you when you use a movement skill you cannot leech off of those but you can still reflect the poison off of them so if you do happen to be playing this build highly recommend taking off golden rule for when you're doing lab so you don't accidentally kill yourself but uh that was some pretty funny deaths that i managed to do and I'll uh, show you a couple of clips of those right now because I found them pretty funny. But other than that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And see you in the next one. For the final quest here that you see for this War for the Wildwood, Search for the King's Mist Stronghold. This does mean you have to find the King of the Mists in a red map. Um, we're thinking it's at least T13, something like that. I don't know the exact tier yet. But you do need to find them in at least red maps, and um, then you have to do a fight that's basically different than the one where you find them in these lower tier maps. And then there is where you can actually finish off your last two skill points for your ascendancies.